Hey guys, it's Tuesday, so that means it's time for a quick tip. Remember, all the videos this week will be themed around file management, so let's fire it up. Today's tip is to learn the correlation between your files and your DAW. Find out how they relate and correspond to each other. Too many times, I'm working with someone and they attempt to send me some files for a session that they want me to mix or something that they want me to record to. And when I open the session, surprise, surprise, all the audio is missing. I see where the audio is supposed to be. It has all the clip data. So you see the crossfades, you see the fade ins, the fade outs, but there is no actual audio. This happens because they don't understand how the software is communicating with the data and they sometimes don't even know where that data is. So they end up sending the project file for the session without the actual elements in the session. So I want you to look at it like this. Let's say you have a music player. Let's, let's call it a stereo. and. This one plays the music from the SD card. On this stereo, you can adjust and set your volume, you can adjust your pan, you can set your desired EQ. Nothing fancy, just the normal bass, mid, and treble settings that's on this ancient artifact called a stereo. Now, the settings are the way you left them, but you gave me the stereo without the SD card that has the actual music that the stereo is supposed to be playing. And that's what you end up doing when you send a session without the audio. You send the arrangement of the musical composition, all the levels you've set intact, but no actual audio files. And then when I ask, so where did you record the files? Meaning in what folder or on what drive, they have no clue. And they also don't know how to navigate their computer's file system. And they have no clue how to perform a search to locate those files. So learn how your DAW is accessing the files. Find out and know where the files are and learn how to navigate your computer system. Here is a bonus tip. Are you ready? Do not save your files on your computer's system drive. Save it on an external drive or cloud storage. Your system drive will usually be the first to fail. You can always reinstall software, but what you create is unique. So unique to you that sometimes you won't even be able to recreate what you've done the same exact way. You don't want to lose that. So don't save to your system drive. Wait, what am I saying? Uh, I'm assuming you know which one is your system drive, which implies that you know, you know what, forget it. I've, I've said too much. Can we, can we cut? Can we just, just cut? Okay, that was the tip for this Tuesday, guys. Thank you for watching the video. And as always, you'll see me in the next video.